Hi and welcome to another tutorial from Digital Phantom. My name is Joel and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to create a weather app for Android using Yahoo Weather API. In this series we're going to use object oriented programming, dependency injection, asynchronous tasks among other things. As you can see on the screen this is the final product of what we're creating today. And let's start by opening the web browser and searching for Yahoo Weather API and open the Yahoo Developer Network link and let's copy this endpoint. Open it in a new tab and see what we get. We're going to remove this last query program because we're not going to need it and let's see what we get. So for the purpose of this tutorial the only parts we're going to use is the units, especially the temperature, and from the item object, we're only going to use the condition. And from the condition object, we're going to use the code, the temperature, and the text. So what this, this code is very important, that shows the type of condition thumbnail that we should display. And as you can see down here, it's represented right there by that image. And let's open the image in a new tab and see how it looks like. So it looks pretty good. But I found out that for mobile devices, this image is very lo low resolution, so it wouldn't look that good. So I did some research and I came up with some icons I found on DeviantArt. And they're really cool and really high resolution. They're really nice, very good looking. It's called VCloud's Weather Icons. And they're pretty good, like really awesome. So you can download them from there. And use it on your project. Uh, VCloud did a really good job with those. So I already have them downloaded. So let's let's reopen this tab that I just closed. And uh, if you want me to do a full-blown weather app in the future, including the forecast and all this kind of stuff, and maybe using your GPS or network location to determine the weather for your location, then definitely let me know in the comments and smash that like button. So, so I could do another video in the future, maybe upgrade this series. And let's just uh, jump right into the code. Let's open Xcode, and we've got the activity here. So this is a basic Android app that I created using Android Studio. So the first thing, we're gonna remove these two methods from the activity, because we're not gonna use the uh, menus. And let's remove also this weather menu that XML file, because we're not gonna use it. And let's just jump right into the layout. And this hello world text view, we're not gonna use that, so let's remove it. And let's start by designing this thing. So we're gonna add an image view to the top. This is gonna be the weather image view. We're gonna add a large text box. I'm sorry, a large text view. So large text. For the temperature, we're gonna add a small text, a small text view for the condition, and it's gonna be below that. So small text for the condition, and a medium text for the location. And finally, we're gonna add another image view down in, next to the bottom of it of the layout. Let's center it and the horizontal and this is going to be for uh, the Yahoo icon so let's go to the text view and let's add some stuff so let's first of all let's change the ID of the first text view to weather icon image view so this image view is going to have that icon so we could easily reference it from the code so the first text view is going to be for for the temperature text view, so let's rename that to that to temperature text text view. And this actually let's use the refactoring capabilities of Android Studio. So shift F6 and it's gonna be temperature text view. Uh, the second element that's going to be, let's refer to that, condition, text view. 
and the third text view is going to be location text view and for the image view of the Yahoo API the attribution image we're going to remove the ID since we don't need to reference that from the from the code let's update the text I like to have some default values so I'm going to do string location for the other one I'm going to do string condition and for the other one I'm going to do string temperature and as you can see we get an error because we don't have that those string resources so I'm going to create that right from there And let's do that for the condition. Now you don't have to have default values, but I do like to have some default values for certain, for especially for text views. Now let's download the attribution image from Yahoo. Let's go to the Yahoo Developer Network and click on Attribution Guidelines for Yahoo APIs. And let's move this window to the side and let's open the drawable folder in Explorer. And that's right there. So we're going to open that folder and we're going to get this so that has been saved in there. And then we're going to rename this to. Yahoo logo and let's update the source of the image view to drawable Yahoo logo and we've got that right there and this for some reason is not centered and we'd like that to be centered so let's center it center horizontal and center horizontal so those are center now and I'm gonna add the icons I talked to you about that I had downloaded already so I'm gonna get those icons and just put them in the drawables folder and let's also add a default a default image to the to that image view so I'm just gonna paste those in And I already have those pasted, so let's add a default to the first image view, and it's going to be so C drawable icon NA. So that's the default. There's nothing on it, so that's going to be the default for that. And let's move these things to be. There you go. And uh, let's see how that looks. All right, so that looks pretty good. And But the, the problem is location should be below condition. So let's see, condition there and location there. All right, so that looks pretty good. And let's actually do some changes on the temperature. And let's just do uh, textile, let's do bold and typeface to serif and for the location let's also do bold alright so that looks pretty nice and let's just jump right into the code and let's uh, create some stuff so I'm gonna s I'm gonna create a new package and this package is gonna be for the data objects that are gonna be parsed from JSON into Pojos or plain old Java objects, and I'm going to create a new package. This package is called data, and I'm going to create another package for the services that are going to communicate with the Yahoo API and return all that data. So, another service package, and uh, let's actually move this to the side and see what we need.
So uh, as I told you, our, we're interested on, on this stuff, on channel. So we're going to create a new class for that. And that's going to be channel. Channel. And then we're also interested on units. So I'm going to create a class for that. And another class. This class is going to be for item. And another class for condition. All right. So now I'm going to create an interface. Remember, I told you we we're going to do object oriented programming. So I'm going to create an interface now. And this interface is going to be JSON populator. And this interface is going to have a single method. And it's going to be void populate and it's going to take as a parameter a JSON object and of course this should be an interface not a class and let's make sure that all these classes implement that interface Not JSON object, JSON populator. Let's implement the populate method. Same thing here. And here. So we're done with that, and now let's actually go to the service package and create the Yahoo weather service. So right click, new class, Yahoo weather service. And we're going to have another interface, and this interface is going to be for a callback. So let's call it weather service callback. And let's make sure this time we select interface so we don't have to update that. And this is going to have two methods. This will be both of the methods return types are going to be void. And we're going to have service success. And the service success is going to return a channel. A channel. Now we're going to have service failure. And this service failure is going to pass as a parameter an exception and this exception will tell us why the service failed so now let's go ahead and do uh, Yahoo weather service class and let's add an instance of the weather service callback and let's add another instance of type string for location so let's have a constructor and this constructor only take one arg one parameter, one argument. So only one parameter for the constructor, and it's going to be the callback. And now let's have another method for the for actually invoking the service, and it's going to be public void. It's going to be a return type void, and it's going to be refresh weather, and we're just going to. It's going to take one parameter, location, and let's do a setter for the location. So in case we need to get that uh, location outside of that object or class. So getter location, and we have a getter for the location. Now, remember I told you I was going to use asynchronous tasks, so now let's do that here. And we're going to pass a string as a parameter, a void as a progress, because we're not interested on the void, on the progress. And let's do a string as the return type. And now let's do execute and pass location to it. And let's implement the doing background method. And we're also interested on overriding the onPost execute method. 
All right, so let's see what we got. So, so we got all the POJOs there, and POJOs stand for plain old Java objects. So these objects are going to be mapped from the JSON data. So we got that, we got the interfaces, and we got the Yahoo Weather Service. So now let's do, let's create instance variables for all of these elements that we just created on the layout. So let's do private image view weather icon image view. Let's do private text view. Text view temperature text view and let's do condition text view and uh, location text view all right so we got those so let's instantiate those uh, variables so whether I can image view equals image view find view by id r that id that weather i can image view let's do temperature text view equals text view find view by r d r that id that temperature text view and condition text view and location text view. So let's update this. So location text view and condition text view. All right. And now let's, uh, let's actually call the weather service, even though it's not, it's not implemented yet, but that doesn't really matter. So private, let's do a, let's declare it as an instance variable of the activity class. And let's do weather service callback. Actually, not weather service callback. Yahoo weather service and then service. And let's do service equals new Yahoo weather service. And we're going to pass this as a callback. And let's do service that refresh weather. And let's pass a city. So it's going to be Austin, Texas. And this is in the US if you guys don't know about it and now it's comp this is complaining about something so let's uh, actually implement that interface so now we have these two methods and uh, let's actually implement the service failure since that's really easy we're just going to show a toast with uh, the description of the exception now you could do more uh, complex things in here but I'm just going to do that so this and then I'm going to do exception, get message, and I'm going to make this long. And then I'm just going to show it. All right, so I think we're looking good for the next part of the tutorial. So please stay tuned and watch the other part of the tutorial.